So this is an exercise related to distance, displacement, speed, velocity, and acceleration. Exercise two. In the first part, in question one, a boat is moving at a constant speed. On a figure, sketch a distance time graph for the boat. So whenever a boat or object is moving with a constant speed and a distance time graph for constant speed, it will be a straight line which is passing through. Origin shows that it was it is a constant speed or constant gradient. For question two, in question two, a car a car accelerate uniformly from rest at 2.2 meter per second square for three seconds. Calculate the speed of the car at time is equals to three. So basically, after three seconds, we have to calculate the speed of the car. And they mention a car accelerate uniformly from rest. So if something starts from rest, the starting speed is zero. So when we say we have the formula for acceleration, the formula of acceleration is the final speed minus initial speed divided by time. So what is the acceleration given? Acceleration they mentioned 2.2 meter per second square because meter per second square is a unit of acceleration. What about the time? The time is equal to three seconds. What is the initial velocity? Because it starts from rest. So whenever anything starts from rest, its initial velocity or starting velocity is zero. So we have the formula A is equals to V minus U over T. A is acceleration, which is 2.2. V is the final speed we are finding. U is the initial speed, that is 0. And divided by time is 3. So this 3 is divided. Other side, it will be multiplied. So it will be 2.2 multiplied by 3. And V minus 0 is basically V. So 2.2 multiplied by 3, that's equal to 6.6 .6 meter per second. Is it clear? Question 2, part 1. In the question, they mention a car accelerate uniformly from rest. So means a car starts from rest. Whenever anything starts from rest, what is the starting speed? The starting speed is zero. U is called the starting speed or initial speed. And it has an acceleration. This is the acceleration of the car which is given 2.2 meter per second square. So acceleration is given 2.2 meter per second square. And it accelerates for three seconds. So for how long or what is the time interval it accelerates? So it accelerates for three seconds. They're asking calculate the speed at time is equals to three. So basically we want to calculate speed when time is equals to three seconds or we want to calculate its final speed. So V is needed. So you have the formula A is equals to V, the final speed minus initial speed divided by time. A is the acceleration, which is 2.2. The final speed is unknown. Initial speed is zero and the time is three. So this three is divided. Other side, it should be multiplied. So three multiplied by 2.2, that will make 6.6 .6, so the final speed is actually 6.6 .6 meter per second is it clear now to everyone the second part The second part, calculate the average speed for three seconds. And when time is equal to three seconds, it has stable at distance 9.9. .9. So how to calculate an average speed? The formula for average speed, average speed is equal to total distance divided by total time. 
that's a formula for average speed so the total distance which this car covered that is 9.9 .9, as i mentioned here divided by time 3 seconds so 9.9 .9 divided by 3 so 9.9 .9 divided by 3 this will give you the average speed which is coming out as 3.3 meter per second is it clear the second part the average speed So the formula for average speed is the total distance divided by total time. And the third one on figure 1.1 is sketch a distance time graph for three seconds. So as they mentioned in the beginning, the first part, the car is accelerating. So if something is accelerating, what should be the distance time graph? So the distance time graph should be a curve and the slope of this curve should increase because they already mentioned this is a continuation of the question so they in the beginning the first sentence they mentioned the car accelerate so when something accelerate something speed up so the what should be the curvature it should go up or the angle should increase so it's not it's a, just a sketch so for a sketch it can be any way you can draw a curve but it could not be a straight line as it is accelerating. Yes, Abdullah? Sir, but they are saying till two, uh, it's uniformly. Yeah, accelerate uniformly means acceleration is constant. Co like example, if I say the car was at zero meter per second initially, then it is two meter per second, then it is four meter per second, then it is six meter per second. So speed is increasing, but acceleration is constant. Here acceleration is two, acceleration is two, and acceleration is two. Uniform acceleration means acceleration is constant. So for a so distance- won't be straight? No, no, if, if it was a constant speed, this is a distance time graph. So if it was a constant speed, then it will be a straight line. If it is a constant acceleration or accelerating, then it will be a curve. This is representing accelerating or acceleration or uniform acceleration. And if it was decelerating, like speed was decreasing, then it should be like this for a distance time graph. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So accelerate uniformly means acceleration is constant and speed is continued to increase. Uh, is it clear to everyone? <clears throat> so this was question two. Then in question three, figure 1.1 shows axis, axis of distance and time, axis of distance and time for an object moving in a straight line. On a figure, draw between time t is equal to 0 and 10 seconds, the graph of object which is moving at a constant speed of 5 meter per second. And start your graph with a distance 0 meter. So how we can complete this graph? As they mentioned, it is moving at a constant speed. So if it is moving at a constant speed, so there should be a straight line for a distance time graph. But what should be the distance it travel? So we have the formula speed is equals to distance divided by time. So to, to know what distance it cover in 10 seconds. So speed is five, which is constant distance. We don't know. And in 10 seconds, the time interval is 10. So this 10 is divided other side. It will be multiplied So 10 multiplied by five. That's equal to 50 meter. So this object will cover 50 meters in 10 seconds. So when it is at 10 seconds, it will cover 50 meter. And each box is representing two. 
two uh, each box is representing four basically not two because 10 boxes equals to 40 so this is 44 this is 48 and between 48 and 52 it will be 50 so 50 will be here on the graph because this is first box after 40 is 44 then it will be 48 and after that it will be 52 so we need distance 50 so this is a distance 50 so when time and it's a constant speed so it will be a straight line after 10 seconds the object will cover a distance of 50 meter is it clear this graph Uh, yes, Abdullah Sarfraz, you have a question? No, sir. Okay. Heather, Lamia, uh, Mira, Yusra, any doubt? Is it clear? Then state the property of a graph that represents a speed. So speed of a speed from distance time graph, the gradient or the slope represent the speed. Like the angle, the gradient, the slope is representing the speed of a distance time graph. Another part, why it is of two marks, one mark is for the graph and one mark is for mentioning that uh, grow, the gradient represents the speed. Between time t is equals to 10 seconds and t is equals to 20 seconds, the object accelerate. The speed, when time t is equals to 10 seconds, when time was 10 seconds, the speed was five when time is equals to 20 seconds the speed is 20 or oh, nine sorry not 20 that's nine they mentioned here speed at 20 second was nine calculate the average acceleration average acceleration total acceleration they all have the same formula so acceleration is the final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time interval so the final velocity is 9 initial velocity is 5 and what about the time interval because from 10 second to 20 seconds so what is the time interval so time interval is 10 seconds so we'll write 10 so 9 minus 5 is equals to 4 and 4 divided by 10 so what is the acceleration that's equal to 0 0.4 meter per second square is it clear the second part when time was 10 seconds the speed was 5 when time is 20 second speed is like if I draw a figure the speed changes and when the time was 10 seconds the speed was 5 and when time is 20 seconds, the speed is 9 meter per second. The question is, what is the acceleration from moving from time 10 seconds to 20 seconds? So the change in the velocity divided by time. Acceleration is the change in the velocity divided by time interval. So when time is 10 seconds, the speed of the object is 5. When time is 20 seconds, the speed of the object is 9. The question is, what is the acceleration? So how to get the acceleration? Acceleration is the final. So what is the final velocity? That's nine. Minus initial velocity. What is the initial or starting velocity? That's five. 
and what about the time interval from 10 second to 20 seconds the time interval is 10 so 9 minus 5 is equals to 4 and 4 divided by 10 that's equal to 0 0.4 meter per second square is it clear abdullah sarfras In question four, figure 1.1 is a distance time graph for a train for 120 seconds. So for 120 seconds, this train is moving. What is the average speed? So how to get the average speed, the formula to calculate the average speed. That is the total distance divided by total time. So when total distance divided by total time, that will give us the average speed. So first we should get the total distance. So this is the total distance travel. Each box is representing 100. So this is 4,800 meter. And the total time is 120. So to get the average speed, 4,800 meter divided by total time, which is 120 seconds. So 4,800 by, divided by 120, which is equals to 40 meter per second. Is it clear? First part, A1. As the average speed is the total distance divided by total time. Why it is not 4,998? Because each box is representing 100. As you can see, from 0 to 1,000, there are 10 boxes. So if 10 boxes representing 1,000, so each box is representing 100. So this is 4,100, 4,200, 4,300, 400, 500, 600, 700, and 800. So one box is representing 100, that's why it is 4,800. Then the second part, speed of a train at time is equals to 100 seconds. So how we can work out the speed when time is equals to 100? So we have to only work out the speed for this part. Only this part, the straight part, because here the speed is constant. It's a straight line till in this region, like where I draw a line, red line, this part, the speed is constant. And here the speed is changing because the, here the speed is increasing. The black part is representing increasing speed and the red part is representing a constant speed. So we want to find the speed in this part of this part. So only the straight part or 100 second, because it's a straight part. So we can find the speed for any region and how we can work out the speed in this region as it is a constant speed. So we'll find the distance travel in this region and then we'll find the time. So how to get the distance travel in this region, when the speed is constant, <clears throat> example, one of the distance in the constant region, I took 2000. And the second distance is 4,800. So what is the distance travel 
from because in a constant place in a con with a constant speed it travel from 2000 to 4800 so what is the distance travel in this region so it covered 2800 meters and what about the time interval how much time it took for this distance on x axis each box is representing 2 so this is 62 64 66 68 70 uh, 72 74 so this is 74 and 120 so the time interval from 74 to 120 so 120 minus 74 that's equal to 46 so it took 46 seconds to cover this 2800 meter <clears throat> the question was calculate the speed at 100 second so when we are checking the graph at 100 second it is a straight line so it means in this part speed does not change so we can find the speed of this part and after finding the speed of this part that is same as the speed at 100 second because the speed does not change due to the straight line so the distance travel in this region for a straight part the distance travel is 2800 and the time is 46 second so it will be 2800 divided by 46 so it will be 60.86 meter per second that's the speed at 100 second or that you can say that can be a speed from a region it's not till 100 they're asking speed at 100 so basically in this region from 74 seconds from 74 seconds to 120 seconds the speed does not change how we can identify speed does not change you can see it's a straight line so if I can find the speed of this part, it means that is a speed for the time interval. It can be for speed at 80 second, 90 second, 100, 110 or 120 because it's a straight line. So speed does not change in this region. Is it clear? This, this part calculating the speed at 100 second or if the same question was there calculating a speed at 80 seconds so you will get the same answer <clears throat> because in this part the speed does not change in the question they are saying calculate the speed of the train when time at time is equals to 100 seconds so when time is 100 second, the question is, what is the speed of the train? So when you check, when the time is 100 second, that region is a straight line. So it means that the speed of this train does not change in this region because it's a straight line. So speed does not change. So what I can do? I can determine the speed of this part and how I can determine the speed of this part. I can find the distance travel. So I can find the distance travel and I can use the time interval. So distance divided by time that will give me the speed and that speed is actually the constant speed so speed is not changing from this time interval like example from 74 second to 120 second is it clear abdullah sarfras so if the same question was there and instead of 100 they mentioned calculate the speed for 110 at 110 second so you will do the same thing 
because the speed from 74 to 120 second does not change so you can find any using a distance and time you can find the speed of that region in question 5 a lorry is traveling along a straight horizontal road figure 1.1 is a distance time graph for the lorry or a truck Spe using figure 1.1 determine the speed when time is equals to 30. So when time is equals to 30, basically, again, a similar question, the speed of the lorry is constant in this part, it does not change till this point. So means the speed from zero to about 70 seconds remains same as it is a straight line. So if this was a question, they asked calculate the speed for 10 second, 20 second, 30 second, 40 second, it will be same because it's a straight line till 70 seconds. So speed does not change. So how we can determine the speed? So we'll find the distance. It started with zero and ending till 2000. So the distance cover is 2000. And what about the time interval? So when I check this uh, time axis, each box is representing two. So this is 62, 64, 66 and 68. So the time interval is 68. To get the average, to get the speed at time is equals to three. So it will be 2000 divided by 68. So 2000 divided by 68. will give us 24 29.4 uh, meter per second. So that is the speed of the lorry when time is equal to 30 seconds. And actually that is the speed of the lorry when time is equal to 20 second time is equal to 30 second, 40 second, 50 second until 68 seconds because it does not change the speed as it is a straight line till 68 seconds. Is it clear the first part? The second part, find the average speed. So the average speed from 60 seconds to 20 seconds. So how to calculate the average speed? Total distance divided by total time. But we don't need the average speed for the full motion. We need the average speed for from 60 to what if they ask for 90 second? For example, uh, Hatim, your question for what if they ask for speed at 90 second? So if they ask for speed at 90 second, then what you have to do if it's a curve, you have to draw a tangent. Like you used to calculate the acceleration from a speed time graph. So if it is a curve, then you have to draw a tangent. But normally, uh, they do not ask for this. That's why we are not going in detail. But if they ask, then you have to draw a tangent at 90 second and find the gradient and that will be the speed. So to calculate the average speed when time uh, at times equals to 60 second to 120. So how we can work out at 60 second, what is the distance covered? Each box is representing 100. So this is 1800. So at 60 second, it is 1800. And for 120 second, It is 2700. And the average speed is the total distance travel divided by total time. So what is the distance travel from 1800 to 2700? 
So you will subtract 2,700 minus 1,800. That's 900. So the distance travel is 900 meter and the time interval from 60 to 120, the time interval is equals to 60. So when we calculate the average speed, the distance travel is 900 and the time interval is 60. So 900 divided by why it is 1800, as you can see, each box, because from 0 to 1000, there are 10 boxes. So each box is 100. So this is 1000, 1100, 1200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, and 800. So each box is 100. That's why this is 1800. So final answer will be 900 divided by 60. That is equals to 15 meter per second. As they asked for average speed from 60 to 120 second, they did not ask the average speed for the total journey. If they ask for average speed of the total journey, then I will take the final distance directly. I'll take the final distance, which is 2700 and I will take the final time and total distance divided by total time, I'll get the average speed. But I will not use this method here as they ask the average speed from 60 seconds to 120 seconds. Is it clear, this part? Yes, Abdullah? Send part to the total distance is 900. Yeah, because they mentioned you want to calculate the average speed from 60 second to 120 second between 60 and 120. So when it was 60 second, the distance was 1800. When it is at 120 second, the distance is 2700. So what is the distance travel between 60 to 120 second? So when I subtract that will come out as 900 clear yes sir and the time interval because it started with 60 and 120 so the time interval is 60. and in question six figure 1.1 is a distance time graph for a moving car on a figure, mark a point where acceleration is zero. When the object is moving at a constant speed, because this part, it's a constant speed. The, the black part is representing a constant speed. And this part is representing the speed is increasing. So when the object is moving at a constant speed, what is the acceleration of the object? When the speed is constant, the acceleration is? zero so on the figure we have to label a point p where acceleration is zero so we can write acceleration anywhere we can mark p anywhere on this straight line as the speed is constant and acceleration is zero the second part determine the speed of a car when 15 seconds so the speed of a car at 15 seconds so basically this region, the speed of the car is constant. So what we can do, we can use the total distance. We can find the speed in this region. So the distance travel divided by time. As it is a straight line, so I can find the speed of this region and the speed of this region is same as speed at 10 second, 15 second, 20 second, 25 second or 30 second. So this is 150 and then 30. So 150 divided by 30. So I will get five meter per second. And the last part average speed from 30 second to 45 second. So again, the same way we'll calculate the average speed. So when time is equals to 30, we'll get the distance travel 
and when time is 45 uh, 41 2 3 4 and 5 so what is the this this is 150 so from 150 to 300 the distance travel is 150 and the time interval from 30 to 45 that is 15. So to get the average speed in the last part, it will be 150 divided by 15, which is equals to 10 meter per second. Is it clear? The last part V1 and 2. Yeah, the last part, V1 and 2, the speed of a car at 15 seconds. Because it's a straight line in this region, so we can find the speed of this region. And that speed will be same as the speed at 10, 15, 20, 25, or 30 seconds. And the next part, we need average speed from 30 to 45 seconds. So this is a 30 second interval. And this one is 45. So we calculate V1. You want the speed of a car at 15 seconds. So we want the speed when time is equal to 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this is 15. So what we can do, because in this region, the speed does not change. So I can find the distance here. I can use this distance, divide by time, I get the speed, or I can find the total speed of this region. And that speed of this region does not change. So when time is equals to 30, the distance travel was 110, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So this is 150, the distance travel, and the time it took 30. So this region speed does not change. So 150 divided by 30, that's equal to 5 meter per second. So actually the speed of this car is 5 meter per second. When time is equals to 10 seconds, 15 second, 20 second, 25 second, or 30 second, as the speed is constant in this region. Is it clear, Hatem? So this was the weekly homework exercise related to the distance, displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Any question related to the class? Yes, Abdullah? You have a question, Abdullah Sarpras? Okay, so I'll end the session and share this with you.